It's not what you do, but how you do it. Michigan State teams are known for that. Yeah, offensively, nothing flashy. In fact, you probably know what they're going to run, but trying to stop them is a whole other bag of beans. Defensively, you know they're going to lay a smack on you. Mark D'Antonio teams seem well-prepared, always well-coached, and they won two of the past three Big Ten titles, including getting to the college football playoff last season. There are missing pieces entering this year, but you better never underestimate Michigan State because they're always going to contend. Keep the chains moving, and Sparty last season did a real good job of that. 99 third-down conversions. Of course, Connor Cook is a very tough act to replace. 34 wins and two Big Ten titles as a quarterback. So now Tyler O'Connor comes in. Looks like he's going to be the starter. Had a strong spring. And we saw last year against Ohio State, he came in in relief after Connor Cook got hurt and did quite well. So the backfield, speaking of doing well last year, true freshman um, and LJ Scott did productive things, including the game-winning TD against Iowa. So he's, he's back as a sophomore. And you also have Gerald Holmes. Wide receiver, you lose your top two. Aaron Burbridge will be hard to replace. So now it'll be R.J. Shelton at wideout, the senior. And you've got quite a few freshmen who will see quality playing time, including the guy they're really expecting a lot of things out of in Donnie Corley. Offensive line will be give and take. They do return talent in Brian Allen, all Big Ten. He'll play the center spot. And left guard, you got Benny McGowan. But, of course, you got to replace the All-Americans in Jack Conklin as well as Jack Scott, Brian's older brother. And even though the Spartans, again, had a solid defense and should this season, past defense at times gave up the big play, which is why you see that inflated number for yards allowed in the air per game, which is quite a bit for a Big Ten school. And despite the defensive backs' inconsistencies in 2015, they are expected to have a better year because of the experience they gained in 2015. Their safeties are regarded as amongst the best in the Big Ten, including Demetrius Cox. Linebackers, they're spoiled in this area, including Riley Bullard, the third generation of Bullets for the Spartans, 106 tackles a year ago. And the defensive line's been the foundation for the Spartans. They're very tough to run against, as proven last year. Malik Nadal returned turns at defensive tackle. A loss of the Fighting Irish wouldn't necessarily derail Michigan State from the playoff pitcher, but you have a feeling that a loss against any Big Ten contender would. Of course, the big, big game on that schedule, late November, against the Buckeyes at East Lansing. Well, you might look at this as a surprise, but if you know anything about Michigan State football, no matter how few or how many returning starters D'Antonio has back, their teams always contend, and this year they get most of the big conference games at home. 